Hello friends, welcome to GIS classes and today we will cover the second part of biological classification which include kingdom fungi, kingdom plant and kingdom animalia. Kingdom fungi, kingdom fungi, fungi are unique kingdom of heterotrophic organisms that is they obtain their organic material from external sources. You may have seen them in moist bread and rotten fruits. They may be unicellular for example yeast that are used to make bread and beer. They may be filamentous for example in alternaria and aspergillus. The body consisting of long slender thread like structure which are called as hyphae and the network of hyphae is known as mycelium. They may be sinocytic that is some hyphae are continuous tube filled with multinucleated cytoplasm and some hyphae are septate that is septa or cross falls in the hyphae. The cell wall of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides. These are saprophytes that is they absorb their soluble organic material from dead substrates. They may be parasites that is depends on living plants and animals. They also live as symbionts in association with algae as lichen and in roots of higher plants known as mycorrhiza. For reproduction they follow vegetative means in which fragmentation, fission and budding. For asexual reproduction is by spores called conidia or sporangiospores or called our zoospores. For sexual reproduction is by oospores, ascospores and basidiospores. The sexual cycle it involves three steps that is fusion of protoplasm between two motile or non-motile gametes which is called as plasmogamy. The fusion of two nuclei which is called as karyogamy. The meiosis and zygote resulting in haploid spores. In some fungi the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in a diploid cell that is 2N. But in others in some fungi that is ascomycetes and basidiomycetes a dichaerotic stage that is n plus n that is two nuclei per cell occurs. Such a condition is called a dicaryon and the phase is called as dicaryophase of fungus. Later the parental nuclei fuse and the cells become again the diploid. They form fruiting bodies in which reduction division occurs leading to formation of haploid spores that is n. Now what are phycomycetes? Phycomycetes are a group of fungi that are found in aquatic habitats and on decaying woods, in moist and damp places or as obligate parasites on plants. The mycelium is aseptate, you can see there is no septa and sinocytic and they are divided into homocytes and zygomycetes and asexual reproduction takes place by zoospores that, that are motile and by aplanospores that are non-motile. These spores are endogenously produced in sporangium you can see this is a sporangium and these are spores. A zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes. These gametes may be uh, similar in morphology or dissimilar in morphology. If they are similar they are called isogamous and if they are dissimilar they are called an oogamous. Some examples like mucor, rhizopus and albugo. The next group is ascomycetes. These, these are called sac fungi. The mostly they are multicellular. For example, in penicillium, you can see these are multicellular, or rarely they are unicellular. For example, in yeast, they are saprophytic decomposers that is living on dead organic matter, parasitic blood that is living on or within organisms, and these are also coprophilus that is living on dung. The asexual spores are conidia produced exogenously on the spatial mycelium called conidiophores. Here you can see conidiophores and conidia are formed on these conidiophores. Conidia on germination produces mycelium. Sexual spores are called ascospores. You can see the ascospores which are produced endogenously in a sac like SI. These SI are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called as ascoscarps. And some examples are aspergillus, claviceps and neurospora. You have to remember these. And uh, the neurospora is used extensively in biochemical and genetical work. The next group is basidiomycetes. These are called as mushrooms, bracket fungi or puffballs. They grow in soil, on logs, on tree stumps, on and in living plant bodies and as parasites. 
the mycelium is is branched and septate so asexual reproduction is absent in basidium mycetes while the vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation and the sex organs are also absent but plasmogamy as a fusion of protoplasm is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of the different strains the resulting structure is a dikaryotic which ultimately gives rise to a basidium here you can see this is a basidium and the karyogamy and meiosis take place in the basidium producing four basidiospores that are exogenously produced on the basidium here you can see the basidium and basidiospores are produced and these are arranged in a uh, fruiting body is called a basidiocarps for example agaricus that is mushroom astilago and paxinia the next group is deuteromyces these are all called as imperfect fungi because only asexual or vegetative phase of these fungi are known when the sexual form of these fungi were discovered they were moved into classes where they rightly belong to the deuteromycetes reproduce only by asexual spores called as conidia the mycelium is septate and branched and some members are saprophytes or parasites while a large number of them are decomposers of litter and they also help in mineral cycling some examples are alternaria colitotrichum and trichoderma now the next kingdom is kingdom plant these are eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms commonly called as plant and the few members are heterotrophic for example bladderwort and venus flytrap are examples of insectivorous plants and cascuta is a parasite the plant cells have a eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplast and cell wall made up of cellulose these includes algae bryophyta pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms later we will discuss about each group in detail life cycle of plants have two distinct phases that is sporophytic that are, that is diploid phase and the haploid gametophytic phase that alternate with each other and these are called alternation of generation the length of haploid and diploid phases and whether these phases are free living or independent on others vary among different groups in plants now the next kingdom is kingdom animalia these are heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms that are multicellular and the cells lack cell wall they directly or indirectly depends on food on plants they digest their food in an internal cavity and store food reserves as glycogen or fat and the mode of nutrition is especially holozoic that is by ingestion of food they follow a definite growth pattern and grow grow into adult that have a definite shape and size and most of them are cap capable of locomotion and the sexual reproduction is done by copulation of male and female followed by neurological development now in the five kingdom of classification of vitae there is no mention of lichen and viruses viroids prions so here we will discuss them separately viruses are basically that uh, means venom or poisonous fluid and uh, in 1892 ivanovsky recognized certain microbes as causal organisms of the mosaic disease of tobacco in plants these were found to be smaller than bacteria because they pass through bacteria proof filters that is they infect they can also infect bacteria and once they infect a cell they take over it, its machinery of the host cell to replicate themselves and killing the host a virus is a nucleoprotein or gen of the genetic material which is infectious in addition to protein viruses also contain genetic material that could be either rna or dna in general Viruses that infect plants have single-stranded RNA, and viruses that infect animals can have single or double-stranded RNA or DNA. Bacterial viruses or bacteriophages that uh, are viruses that infect the bacteria are usually double-stranded DNA viruses. The protein code called capsid, made up of small subunits called capsomeres, that protect the nucleic acid. These capsomeres are arranged in a helical or polyhedral geometric forms. Viruses causes diseases like mumps, smallpox, herpes, and influenza. 
एड्स इन ह्यूमन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कॉज बाय अ वायरस इन प्लान सिम्टम्स कैन बी मोजैक फॉर्मेशन लीव रोलिंग कर्लिंग येलोइंग एंड वीन क्लियरिंग डॉर्फिंग एंड स्टंटिंग ग्रोथ हेयर यू कैन सी द पिक्चर्स ऑफ वायरसेज दिस इज बैक्टीरियल वायरस दिस इज प्लान वायरस एंड दिस इज एनिमल वायरस नाउ द वायरस इन नाइनटीन सेवन टी ओ डाइनर डिस्कवर द न्यू इन्फेक्शस एजेंट दैट potato spindle tuber disease and it was found to be free rna that is they lack the protein coat hence the name viroid the rna of a viroid was of a very low molecular weight here you can see the structure now what are prions prions of the agent was similar in size to viruses these agents were called prions and prions consisting of abnormally folded proteins that lack nucleic acid the most notable disease caused by prions are bovine spongy form encephalopathy that are commonly called as mad cow disease in cattle and its analogous variant jacob disease that occurs in humans now what are lichens lichens are symbiotic association that is mutually useful association between two groups of plants that is algae and fungi the algal component is known as phycobionts and fungal components as mycobionts which are autotrophic and heterotrophic respectively algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb mineral nutrients and water for its partners so close is there association that if one saw a lichen in nature as you can see these are pictures of lichens you can never imagine that they had two different organisms within them lichens are very good pollution indicators they do not grow in polluted areas here you can see some forms of lichens thank you hope you like the video